In the diagram below, AC and BD intersect at E. Which information is always sufficient to prove triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE? Okay, so um, if we're trying to prove that two triangles are the same, we need at, at minimum one side. So let's just recap what are all the, um, the different ways that we can prove triangles congruent. We can do side, side, side. So we need three sides for this. We can also have SAS. Here we need two sides. We can also have ASA. We have one side there. And then we have AAS. And then there are other um, ways of proving triangles congruent. Uh, special cases like if we're dealing with right triangles, which is hypotenuse leg, which is a um, uh, only a unique case, okay, um, where we are using angle side side because we're saying that the two triangles there have um, two congruent right angles, but we're not saying any other any other angles are going to be congruent. This is a unique case, but these are the ways in which we can prove triangles congruent. Um, but at, at minimum, we need one pair of sides congruent. So let's see here. Option one: uh, AB is parallel to CD. So if AB is parallel to CD, what will happen then is we can prove all the angles congruent because we can have pairs of alternate interior angles and this is a vertical angle over here and that would not be enough. We don't have a side. Let's take a look at the option two. AB is congruent to CD. AB is congruent to CD. Okay. And BE is congruent to DE. BE is congruent to DE. This would not be good because we have two pairs of sides congruent, that's great, okay? However, we don't have any angles at the moment other than this vertical angle. And based on the side to angle arrangement um, or orientation of corresponding angles and sides, we have what's called side-side angle, right? And side-side angle is not one of the uh, ways we can prove triangles congruent. So that's out of the question then. Uh, and then option three, E is the midpoint of AC. E is the midpoint of AC. That's good. It shows that, I'm sorry, AC, not BD. It shows that these two sides are congruent, but we don't have enough angles. Okay, we have one angle here, but we don't have the other uh, any information about the other two corresponding angles. Uh, we need if if we have one side, uh, we need at minimum two angles then. So that wouldn't work. Option four, BD and AC uh, bisect each other. That would work because then if BD and AC bisect each other, then these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent and we have a pair of vertical angles there, then we can prove these two triangles are congruent based on SAS. So that would be option four.